and local high school sports. Kentucky releasing today its non-conference schedule for next basketball season. The season begins with the Hall of Fame Classic at Rupp Arena on November 13th and 14th versus Albany and the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Defending champion Duke in the Champions Classic in Chicago on November 17th. Former UK assistant Orlando Antigua and his South Florida Bulls will play UK in Miami on the 27th. And look at December at UCLA on the 3rd, at home versus EKU on the 9th, and Arizona State on the 13th, the CBS Sports Classic in Brooklyn versus Ohio State on the 19th, and at home versus Louisville on the 26th. And the Cats will visit Kansas on January 30th as part of the SEC Big 12 Challenge. All NBA teams were released this afternoon and a couple of former Kentucky Wildcats receiving some honors. The 2012 number one overall pick Anthony Davis joining LeBron James, James Harden, Mark Gasol and 2015 MVP Steph Curry on the first team. Davis led the league in blocks at just less than three a game and finished fourth in scoring at 24.4 points per game. Davis helped lead the New Orleans Pelicans to the playoffs for the first time since 2011. DeMarcus Cousins of the Sacramento Kings named to the second team. The Kentucky softball team takes the field this weekend for its third straight Super Regional, and that may be surprising to some. The Wildcats entered the South Bend Regional last week on a nine-game losing streak, including a first-round exit in the SEC tournament. Head coach Rachel Lawson says there was no confidence issue just a case of playing poorly. No, I don't think it was a confidence issue. I think um, I don't think we played well. So I think I think when you don't play well and you're playing the best teams in the country, you lose. I mean, I, I think it, it's kind of that simple. I don't think we had a confidence issue so much as at the end of games we were just getting beat. We weren't making good pitches, or we weren't, or if we did make a good pitch, we didn't make a good stop. We just weren't very good at that time. But I think now um, with some work, I think they feel confident that they're back to what they do well. Two Buckhorn Wildcats signing to play at the next level this afternoon. Of course, ladies first. Wildcat forward Kansas Rice signing to play nearby at Alice Lloyd College. Rice leaves Buckhorn with more than 2,000 career points and is the school's all-time leading rebounder with just fewer than 1,500. It's a blessing to sign with Alice Lloyd College today. Um, I wanted to go there. It was small, kind of like Buckhorn. Once I visited there, I loved it. I fell in love with their campus. Having my friends, my teammates, my coaches, and my family here means everything to me and just to share my success with them. Also this afternoon at Buckhorn, Wildcat catcher Caleb Napier signing to play college baseball at the University of Pikeville. Napier and the Wildcats saw their season come to an end this week in the first round of the 54th District Tournament. And Napier says he's looking forward to continuing both his athletic and academic careers with the Bears. I've always, always loved playing baseball. And, and for me, being able to further my educational career and my athletic career, it's just amazing, really. I just love being able to 